three in our episode and in here as you can see we're inside in our training center and today we're going to look at the uh, controller on top of the boiler and some of the different functions on it. Okay so we've seen the controller as soon as we switch on the power button we have currently displaying on the LCD display 20 degrees and that's the temperature of the water sitting inside in the boiler. We're now going to give the boiler a heat request, turn on our heating system and we're going to check then for the operational LEDs. There we see the boiler now is starting to go into its ignition phase. We have the temperature set for in round roughly about 40 degrees and what we're looking to see now is the run light which has just come on so that has indicated us now that the boiler is running, the burner is running. As you can see the circulating pump, the light for it has not come on yet, this boiler will only ever circulate hot water and what should happen is as soon as our temperature gets up to roughly say about 30 degrees we should see the pump come on. It's climbing fairly rapidly. There we go, so 28 degrees there. Now we can see the circulating pump light has come on. So now the boiler is circulating hot water. We can see if we turn up the temperature, the pump light goes out and the boiler continues to run. This is where a lot of the efficiency comes into play. It only is ever circulating uh, hot water. We are now going to look at, uh, we're going to now simulate a fault in the boiler. Show you then what the check light coming on and the corresponding uh, fault code. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the wire of the low water level sensor that we've seen in the previous video. So as we can see now, the check light is flashing and we have a fault here has appeared 02. Now if we go to our installation manual, fault codes, we can see that fault error code 02 is low water level. So it's telling us that there's a problem with either low water level in the boiler or there's something wrong with the sensor. I'm now going to put the wire back onto the sensor and it should automatically reset itself. Put that back on. And there we can see the check light is off and we are back reading the corresponding temperature that's currently in the boiler at the moment. Thank you for joining us in part three. Please come back and see us in part four where we're going to remove the downward firing burner and show you its components.